set this up because I need to have a fucking plug-in and I don't have enough freaking plugs. My shirt says... I don't want to say it in the beginning of this video because I'm going to get demonetized. I'll say it in like five minutes. Um, anyways, I don't know how this angle looks or this lighting looks because I... It's hard to explain, okay? It's hard to explain. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Switching the positions for you. Everyone in the bedroom. We're over here now, guys. We're gonna do a hair video today. <laughs> so, um, a lot of people comment on my TikTok, Instagram, and my YouTube channel. Oh my god, can you do a hair tutorial? Can you do this a hair tutorial on this, on this look, on this look? And you guys are always asking me how I do my hair. So, I thought that I would just do, like, a compilation. Is that what it's called? I thought that I would just compile all of my, like, hairstyles that I do into one video. Um, just in sh and show you guys how I do them on camera. The hairstyles, like my go-to hairstyles, and teach y'all. And I think it'll be fun. Um, you know, I got my heat protectant. I will be using a lot of heat on my hair today. So pray for this bitch. But, you know, she's fine. My roots are really grown out. We're not gonna look at that, but that's okay. I'm still sick. If you guys watched my last video and you knew I was sick, I'm still sick. It's been fucking two weeks. I don't understand. I also did feathered brows today. How are you guys feeling about them? How do you feel? <laughs> Let me know. I need a tissue. But first, we're gonna start out with just literally straightening my hair. Um, not straightening it, but like curling it the way that I do. I don't even consider it like really curling. Like, I don't know. If you guys want a makeup tutorial on how my makeup looks right now, um, I have a tutorial on it. It's updated. How to catfish as an instabody, but I just did my eyebrows differently, but the, everything else is the same. If you were wondering, Corey, this is a hair video. You're only gonna need a few things. You need a hair straightener. I'm using one. Capozzi. Beautiful. Capozzi. 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 I really wish I knew exactly how to say it. Um, I'm gonna first start out by brushing my fucking hair out. Um, does anyone have a problem with their hair getting greasy really fast? Because I do. I literally took a shower last night. Always start at the bottom. I think everybody knows that, though. Ow, I literally got my industrial pierce, like, a couple weeks ago, and it's, like, it still hurts. <laughs> really bad. But let's spray, spray some freaking heat protectant. This is the BB Hair Dryer Invisible Oil Heat UV Protected Primer. Based thermal protective BNJ UV Sublime to pre heat first turn little change for dry for for dry to very dry hair. Me. Okay. Just spray this on my hair and really get it in there. We need to protect my hair. It's already damaged enough. I don't think you guys should ever take any advice from me. But everyone always wants to know how I fucking curl my hair like this and it's really super freaking easy, alright? It's really freaking easy. I don't even like do crazy parts. Like I don't even part it like crazy. Really just grab like half of my hair. This could be depending on how much hair that you have. Oh my god, are my armpits hairy? It wouldn't even matter. I literally don't give a shit. I've been getting them waxed, so it's like I have to wait for the hair. <sighs> Why does this matter? I'm doing I'm making a fucking this is I'm supposed to be showing you guys how I fucking do my hair. And I'm talking about a million other things. Anyways, I'm gonna take this hair straightener. The hair straightener that I'm using today is from Kapazi. I'm gonna put it to 390. I don't know if that's bad for my hair, but that's what I do. Cause it gets the job done. But how I get this little wave thing going on, I'll insert a pic here, you guys always ask, how do I get my little waves? Take out the top of it needs to be straightened. Bring it down, down, down. Get to the bottom, right? I take it. And I just start flipping it. You guys see what I'm doing here? And then it creates my little bump. You see? And I'm, I would be spraying hairspray usually after every single time I do this if I were to be like going out. But since I'm going to be doing like 8 million hairstyles in this video, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but yeah, so I pretty much just take little pieces and I just curl the end like this. 
You guys always ask, Corey, how do you do that? This is how I do it. You see? It creates the little fucking thing. It creates a little bump de bump Hello. See, we're getting to the front. Now you guys can, like, really see what I'm doing. And when I get to the front pieces, I like to flare them more like if I were to be, like, doing that them that way. Does that make sense? If you guys see any steam coming up, don't be frightened. Okay? It's just because I have product in my hair. Don't be scared. I'm not frying my hair off. See, look. This one, this right here will really show you guys how I do it. See? And I take it and I flip it. It's all with the flick of how you do your little wrist. Look at that. Look at that cute little bouncy curl. Can you guys really see what's going on here? You see that? Beautiful. And I just swing it to the back and then I start on this side. Do you guys understand what we're doing here? Do you guys understand the assignment? And then I just do that to my whole head. I'm gonna do this other side. I still have a mark from where I got my vaccine and it's been like two weeks. I wonder when it's gonna go away. I always think this looks so cool. Like the red and the black when I'm straightening it, I'm like, wow. See and then towards the face? Away from the face, right? Beautiful. This little piece right here. Away from the face. Beautimus. Look at that. Okay, you guys see? Can you guys see? I hope you guys can see. Gosh darn it. Top layer of my head. And I don't really care too much about parting. Like, I could do smaller parts, but like, I don't feel like it. I can just do it like this. I also don't care about how straight the top part of my head is, because like, that just doesn't bother me. Okay, this hairstyle right now I'm doing is boring. I know. We're gonna get into the fun ones that you guys always ask me. Corey, how did you do this hairstyle? We're gonna get into those. I'm just showing you <laughs> how I do it. Like, I do this hairstyle too. And you know why I like this freaking curler? Because it's not like straight on the sides of it, so it makes it super easy to curl the tips of your hair. Because like some straighteners, you know how they're like straight across? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? And it makes it, you can't curl your hair with it. But this, I like this shit because it's like, you can curl your hair with it too and you don't gotta have like a straightener and a curler. And straightening your hair with a flat iron, it really isn't as hard as people think it is. Like, you guys see what I'm doing? Very easy, very easy. It sounds like I'm breaking my hair off, but I'm not. <laughs> I'll be here and there's a fucking fly in my room. Get out. I'm gonna freaking flat iron you. This is where we're really gonna, really gonna flip it out. We're gonna start up higher with the curl, alright? Bring it all the way down. Look at that. Gorge. Gorge. Look at that. And just look how beautiful that makes it look, okay? okay I'm gonna go do the other side and we're gonna come back. Because you guys understand. You guys understand the I'm at this point. It's just straight down, flip her up. That's all you gotta do. Alright, beauty mist. Look, see? See, I don't know if I would consider this like curls. I think it is. I mean, like technically my hair looks like it's curled has some nice little bounce to it. Sometimes I like to flip my head like a fucking, like, you know? Like that, just to give it more volume. And I just like to pounce it up. Anyone ever wondered how I do that? That's how I do that. Now we're gonna get on to the next hairstyle. This hairstyle is a hairstyle that I do a lot. I actually haven't done it since I dyed my hair, so this might be fun. Because, maybe you'll be able to see it. I don't know. Okay, so pretty much part your hair to your side, whichever side you prefer. I prefer this side. Get a rat tail comb. Um, make the line nice, pretty, and straight. Right? Like, take, like, um, this to, like, the tip of my ear. Like, you guys see how much hair I'm taking? About this much. Okay? We need this. So we're gonna keep it. The hair strainer that I, that I got, it comes with a little um, heat protectant for your like, or a little hand glove thing, like, you know, if you don't wanna burn yourself. And it also comes with two clips, which is very convenient because when you're doing hairstyles like this, you're gonna need some clips. Um, but yeah, it's from Amazon. You get it on Amazon and it's available in the United States. Here, wait, hold on. I just like start from where the same part place that I parted it over her, you see? Same place, and I drag it down to the same place in my ear. 
you can get this hair straightener on Amazon. It's available in the UK, in the US, in Italy, and in Spain. And Canada! And it comes with little clippy clips. I'll link it below. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm not explaining what I'm doing. Corey, explain what you're doing. I'm taking my hair, I'm taking half of it. You guys see? Half of it. Half up. Half up. These two strands are still out. Make sure these are still out. I feel like they're all from Freaky Friday right now. We all know who I'm talking about. But make sure this is nice and smooth. What I use for hairspray when I'm doing this, I either use the Got To Be Spray because it doesn't make little flakes in my hair, or I use Eco Gel, which also doesn't make flakes in my hair, which is nice because we don't want flakes in our hair. Nice and smooth. Okay? Pull it up tight. Don't be fucking afraid. Pull it up super fucking tight, okay? Like really tight. Like this. Ooh, like don't be afraid. Really get it. I think this is why I'm balding, but it's okay. Really get it. Really get all the fucking hair. Alright, there we go. There she is. Cool, got it done. Okay. <laughs> we can let these hose down because we don't need to have them pulled back anymore. <sighs> okay. I mean, you could leave it like this, but you kind of look weird. I'm going to put my hair up. Like, you see this hair that I have back here? Not needed right now. Okay? I'm going to in a little clippy clip because we need to grab one of these little bad boys. We need a little rubber band. And then I brush my And then usually at this point too, I would take a rat tail comb and um, I would take hairspray or eco gel and really, really, really make sure my hair was like slicked down and there was no flyaways. But like I said, I'm about to take my hair out and show you guys a different hairstyle, so I'm not doing that right now. Maybe I'll use a little bit. Fine. Fine. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You only need a little bit of that stuff anyways. Anyways, and then I take it, right? I put it behind my ear. And I make sure it's really slid down. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Keep this like, I don't know, on your shoulder or something. Do this same thing to this side. Super slick down. Maybe a little bit, of, maybe a little bit of this. I usually would use a lot of that, but I'm not doing that right now because I need to take it out. How many times am I gonna say that? I don't fucking know, but I'm gonna take it out in a second. <laughs> Make sure it's super like, you want it to look super neat. Like this needs to stay up. Whatever, I'm doing it without it. Okay, and then we're gonna take these two strands and we're gonna pull them tight. Right? Pull them really tight. Pull them really tight. And then take a little rubber band. And tie that bitch. Make sure this bitch is high too. This bitch needs to stay up. Okay. You know, this is very straining on the head. Um, if you wear it all day, it might hurt your head, but you know what? It feels really great when you take it out, so that's fun. <laughs> Same shit, because I wouldn't be doing this. If I did this hairstyle, I would be do this is what I would do with the rest of my hair. I would just bump the ends up, just like I did before. Just like this. Just like that. You see how it bumps it up? The amount of heat that I'm putting on my hair today. Sorry, bitch. I apologize. I think that's my dog Joey trying to get into my room. Beautiful. Take a little piece of your hair like this. Like a little piece of hair. Wrap this around this whole thing to make just it look all cute over like overall cuter. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm about to fucking take my hair out. But We'll just do it for show. Like, I'm not going to pin it, but usually I would take a little bobby pin and just, like, keep that little piece of hair like that. Now, number two, Zorn. Usually would hairspray it, but like I said, I'm not going to hairspray it. Evans are here. Damn, Joey. My dog really wants to come in my room. And then, like, these ones, this is where it gets fun because you can bump these ones up. And then it's like, oh, look how cute. This is one of my go-tos. Like, if you go through my Instagram, bitch, this hairstyle is, like, one of my number ones. I wear it all the time. 
But yeah, I'm gonna take this out. And we're gonna get on to the next one. Most of these are half up, half up, half up, half up. Yep. Do you want to see my dog? Come here. Ugh! He's fucking fat. This is him. <laughs> I didn't mean it in a mean way. You're beautiful. But he is a little chunky chunk. He really is. He's also 11. And he's beautiful. And his name is Joey and I love him. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. Um, Let me take my, take my hair out. I'm probably going to lose so much hair today. But it's okay. I do it for you guys. Okay, here we are again. Hair out in a bow. So this next one is actually my favorite one since I dyed my hair because it looks kind of cool. Because you can really see the red. But yeah, um, tip for when you're freaking doing a middle part. Fucking center your nose, bitch. Straight down the center. Rat tail combs with hairstyles like this are like, um, very mandatory because how else would you get an even part? Hmm? For this hairstyle, you're gonna need two of these or you can use rubber bands it doesn't really matter i like using these ones because it gives me more like i'll i'll tell you why in a second okay but right here this is mandatory i want to have a little cute bang moment so i take it in like a triangle like i go at an angle y'all see what i'm doing an angle so i have like a little triangle of hair <laughs> and i keep this out then i take the other side do the same thing okay these can be just twisted away for now. We don't need these right now. So I go from here, and I, I this is kind of hard to explain, but I go to like the tippity top crown of my head. You see where this is? You see where this is poking out? Do you see where it's poking out? This is hard to explain. Am I explaining this well? Okay, you guys see what I have? Do you guys see the amount of hair that I have? This is all we need. Well, we need to do the other side, but yeah. Pull this bitch up. Like I said, I would usually spray it. Fuck it, I'll just, I'll just spray it. I'll do it anyways. I'll do it anyways. I pull it up tight. Make sure this bitch is tight. Grab a rubber band or a hair tie and tie this bitch up. This is literally all I do. Okay, make sure you don't get any of the hair in the back. Ponytail! This is fun, right? Let's do it to the other side. Make sure there's no bumps. Give her a little spray spray. Okay, make sure these are even too, because once it's once it's up there, it's up there. So you gotta make sure these ponytails are even. Sometimes it might be uneven, but that's okay. That's okay. The reason I like to use actual hair ties instead of rubber bands with this is because it gives it like that little like bink. I think this is my favorite hairstyle. Lately, it has been. My two front pieces are here because they do tend. Woo! That's hot on my face. They do tend to um get in the way. And then I take a little bit of this on my hand, right? And I take it and I put it on these because I don't want the flyaways to get on my face. And this one's fun too because I've done this hairstyle before. Where you would take these, um, little, little ponies. My little pony. You would take these little ponies and you can braid them. Which is easy. If you don't know how to braid, mm, I don't know what to tell you. But you go like this. But yeah, um, this hairstyle is also cute if you put these in braids. I've done this a couple times. Um, just braid them. That's about it. Just put them in piggies and braid them. This is how you braid. I don't know how to explain it other than this. Woo -hoo. Take a rubber band. I like to leave a little bit of like curl at the end because it just gives a little cute effect. Scrunch it out. We don't want that hoe to look super tight. At least I don't. Super cute, super fun, super easy. Lily ponytails and then just do a little braids and then look how fun. It's like so effortless, but it's like so fun. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna redo these little bumps really quick. Um, like I showed y'all before. Just a little whoop, like this. Y'all see what I'm doing? Don't worry about the steam. Look at that. Yeah, maybe I did need a re recurl it real quick to show y'all the full effect i'm just being lazy Shiner actually makes it so easy because i don't know if y'all seen flat irons like flat irons that are f like have 
like boxy like ends i don't know how to explain it but like boxy ends like a square you won't be able to curl your hair like this you need one that has like a curved side do you guys understand what i'm saying or you won't be able to do this i mean i don't know maybe you could if you're like a magician but i don't know how to do that okay we have one hairstyle left and um i posted a tiktok a long ass time ago with this hairstyle and everybody asked how i did it and i was like okay i can show you guys but i just didn't ever show you guys and it's been like uh probably damn near a year damn near a year or maybe not a year but it's been a long time i'm putting my hair through so much damage right now I sound like a southern belle. Um, but I'm putting my hair through so much damage. Pussy power, if y'all didn't know. Okay, next hairstyle. Keep your hair parted in the middle. I already have my part for my last one. Um, okay, so this one you're gonna need the little rubber bands again. I have them in this bag, but you're just gonna need little rubber bands. If you have a different color hair than me, like your hair's light, um, get like clear rubber bands not black ones i mean unless you want them to be black you can have them black and like have them stand out or you could get colorful ones and make this like super cute but we're doing this little this little thing again my dog is barking um this one's a little intricate all right this is the most complicating one out of them all i'd have to say we're only gonna need like a top cute section of our hair all right all the way to the back y'all see what i just did if you didn't i'll show you on the other side <laughs> we need to have a clean part here we can't fuck it up here you know this isn't really that straight of a line but i really don't care and it goes all the way to the back of my noggin and make sure that there's a straight line back here too okay see the hair that i have okay and this line might not be straight back here but you guys get the idea we don't need any of this hair right here, so let's get it out of the freaking way, okay? Just pin it back for now. Maybe a little scrunchy. I look really fucking weird. This is all this. I have this much hair in my. This is how much hair I have. Out. Get your little rubber bands, and we're gonna make a little. This is very early 2000s, 90s right here. Look that we're going for. First part. Make sure you're very even. I. This is gonna matter a lot. This is where the parts genuinely matter, okay? That's honestly even enough for me, like I literally don't care. Okay, pull it up. <laughs> and then rubber band it. Oh my God. I hope I'm explaining this all well enough. Like, it doesn't need to be explained thoroughly, but like it needs to be explained just good enough. You know what I mean? See this? We got like a little antenna going on, right? Let's do it to the other side and make it even. Ooh, you can see my balding spot. <laughs> shit. <laughs> that shit broke. I get one down. Look. Now we have like cute little baby antennas right in front of our head. And now we go on to the next. Another even one. I'm going to make three of them. So this one's going to be like, I don't know, that big. And make sure the line's even. We don't need this bitch. We take these two. Okay, so you connect the second part with the first little baby ponytail with another rubber band. <sighs> Did anybody else's mother do their hair like this when they were little children? <sighs> and then you make it tight? Gorge. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to finish up this side because I'm already here. And might as well. At the end, just put it all together. You know, I could do four of them, but I'm being lazy. I will admit. I will admit I'm being lazy. You could do them as many as you want. But this gets the point across. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Do you guys see what we have going on here? <laughs> I'm going to go do this to the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay, Gorge, we have them both done. This one's kind of messy because, ooh, I forgot a piece of hair. Hmm, doesn't matter. Okay, take this hair out. <laughs> um, here we go. Take it out. You can take this little bitch out too. Like a cute little rock star from like the early 2000s when I have this hairstyle. 
so cutie and it's so easy I want to curl my hair okay we're gonna curl my hair do you guys know how to curl your hair with a straightener when I show you it's actually way easier than you would fucking think I'm gonna show y'all how to like curl curl your hair with a fucking straightener it's as simple as this ready you take it go like this do you see what I did there does anyone see what I did did anyone see I'll show you again this is on oh I think it turned off <laughs> it turned off <laughs> I was like that's embarrassing it just turned off. But look how fast this bitch heats up. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. I feel like this isn't any person's nature that uses a hair straightener to always go like this. Tell me y'all don't do that. That was embarrassing the first time I tried to do it. <laughs> but let me show you again. So you take it. This is at least how I straighten my hair or curl my hair with a curling iron. Did you guys see how I wrapped it? Did anyone see? I hope you guys saw. Did anyone see how easy that was? Does any, did anyone know that was possible? Did you know that it was that easy? Did you know? Let me show you guys. Let me show you on this side because I feel like I keep doing it on the side that you guys can't see. Okay. One more time for my peoples that don't know that you can curl your hair like this. You go like this. Wrap it. Put it under. Pull down. Did you know that you could do that? A perfect little curl. You can't really see it because the rest of my hair is in the way. I'm gonna just finish curling my hair and um, I'll come back to you guys for the outro. Also, I don't leave my curls like this. Um, I don't like the look of just like a like curl curl like that. I don't like that look. Um, I just am not a fan of it. So I like to brush my fingers through it after I'm done to loosen up the curls and then like also give it some volume. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'll, I'll curl my hair and then I'll go do the, 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 yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, I curl my hair. And now, look at these cute little curls. Ooh, bouncy bounce. Um, and then I just like run my fingers through it. Since this is my last look, I can definitely put hairspray in my hair. Is that how I would like it? This hairspray is really strong, so, um... If you spray this on your hair, just know it's not going anywhere. I just like do a little. Did that make sense? Did that make any sense to anybody? I feel like a cheerleader. Hee <laughs> hee, pussy power. Anyways, you guys even see what the fuck is going on on the top of my head. Here is a, another look. This is what the top of my head looks like. I don't know if the, the lines are that even. I really don't know. Yeah, this brand, Kapazi. Beautiful brand. I love their products. They have a whole bunch of different stuff that you can get on their website. They actually have a curling iron too, but you know, it's very convenient if you just have like a straightener because then you can curl your hair with it and straighten your hair with it if you're going to like travel and stuff. This is the Kapazi V5. Beautiful. You can get it on Amazon. They sell like hair blow dryers and just a bunch of hair styling tools. Um, go to their website. I will link it down below. Um, but yeah, loves it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I don't know if it was or if it wasn't, but if it wasn't, I'm truly sorry. But if it was informative, I you're welcome. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you guys next time. I love you so freaking much. Be good to your goddamn brain. I love you. But truly... Be good to your brain. Thank you. I love you. Have an amazing day.